painted at the end of the 19th century, Nu se coiffant au bord de l'étang, is a masterpiece from Paul Ranson's mature period. Ranson was a leader of the group of French painters known as Les Nabis. Along with Maurice Denis, Paul Cerisier, and Pierre Bonnard, the Nabi believed the use of flat planes of color and simplified forms were a means of attaining a greater level of spirituality through art. The forest was full of the imaginary mysticism central to the Nabi visual language. It was a prime source of inspiration throughout Ranson's lifetime, with branch-like forms and figures appearing prominently in his most successful compositions. Ranson and fellow artist Georges Lacombe spent many hours studying trees in the forest of Écouve, which inspired their forest scenes full of magical nudes and nymphs. Ranson's depictions of tender mothers and enigmatic enchantresses are drawn from personal experience. He lost his mother during childbirth and went on to have an incredibly close relationship with his wife, France. She was his preferred model and has been identified by the artist's granddaughter as the model for the central figure in this work. The flat plains and swirling water are created using Ranson's characteristic cloisonné style, evoking the medieval technique of decorating metalwork with gold or silver wires, which he would have studied in his hometown of Limoges. They echo the woodblock patterns used in Japanese ukiyo-e prints that inspired the nabi and were popularized through the Japanese movement. They also speak to the influence of Paul Gauguin's Tahitian paintings. The arabesque decoration of the water and the flower-filled foreground recall the decorative panels produced at the height of the Art Nouveau movement. The Nabi shared an interest in breaking down the divide between the visual arts, crafts and design. Having tragically died at the age of 45, Ranson created a relatively limited output, much of which is held by public institutions. This is a rare opportunity to acquire a masterpiece combining two of his most paramount motifs, the woman and the forest. Thank you.